All right, so for question, uh, we're doing 5-11. Um, same thing, um, same material, uh, yield stress is 295 megapascal, and we're trying to use the uh, Valmesis, right? Um, so first of all, we want to determine what's the factor of safety, which we know that the factor of safety for Valmesis is just as yield divided by Valmesis stress, and then plot the failure focus, the low line estimated factor of safety by graphical measures. Okay, so for this, now, a lot of people get confused with these two equations. So with the top Valmesis, you, like the stress A, and then like A, B, those are principal stress. So you have to find principal stress first before you, you, you plug them in. So for example, five and set, five, uh, seven and eight yes you can just straight up use this equation because it's already in principle right because it's already um in principle stress because the shear stress is zero right um but for 5-11 we cannot right we have to then we use the bottom and this equation uh, just allows you to have whatever you have at any state of the point. Like for example, on this more circle, that's a, that was a terrible circle, but you get the point. On any point of the circle where you have certain like x uh, stress x stress y and a shear, right? At any point on the more circle, you can apply this equation, right? So for this one as well, like you you, you can still use this into here. It's just this equal to zero, and then this is A, this is B, right? It just, you know, same, it's the same thing as, as on top. But um, yeah, that's that's the, the difference between using uh, these two. So sometimes you see like the calculations on the book where they use the uh, transformation equation to transfer like the current state into principal stress and then plug the A and B into here. And you can solve it that way, right? But this, so if you're given at a state that's not, in principal stress state, then you can just uh, use this equation, and just plug and chuck. So for this one, let me 5-11, right? Then this would just be negative uh, 80 square minus negative 80 uh, times 30, right? Plus 30 square plus uh, 3 times negative 10 square, right? And square root the whole thing, uh, you will get a hundred megapascal out of this one, right? And uh, so if you, this is I guess a, so the factor of safety is two hundred ninety-five divided by one hundred. It's everything is a megapascal, so no worries. Two point nine five, right? That's the um, factor of safety from calculation. Now to plot it, right? Um, so we have to find the principal stress because on this graph, right, on this graph, um, so on this graph, da -da 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 -da, we uh, have two points, right, A and B. Um, so if this is A, this is B, right? Those are principal stresses, it's just one divided by the other, and then you find the factor of safety, right? Um, so we do have to find the principal stress. So we have to use the, we can use the moral circle, we can draw it out, or we can use the um, the uh, transformation equation, right? Which is stress A, B, principal stress, right? Equals X plus, Y divided by two plus or minus, um, let's see, square root of X minus square root of Y, sorry, S stress X minus stress Y divided by two square root that, and then plus the uh, shear XY square, right? So I think stress A gives you 30.9 megapascal, and then stress B uh, gives you negative 80.9 megapascal right so yeah so 
Oh, my bad. That's not what I meant. The uh, A is, sorry, da -da -da. made a mistake on explaining this piece of information. Uh, so, oh, sorry, those, this should be straight line. So point A, like it's somewhere from, from zero to point A, that is, um, basically that is 30, um, that is, uh, 30.9 and negative 80.9, right? Um, and, uh, so yeah, this is 295, 295, um, 295, 295. Okay. So well, in this case, it's supposed to be, so A is on this side. Right, so it's positive and then negative, so it's somewhere around here. That's A, right? And then you extend, it's probably somewhere around here, because it's 30. So, and then you extend it all the way to where it touches the line at von Mises, right? And the distance between from O to A uh, divided by O to B, this is the factor of safety. Right, so O to A to O to B, uh, in the end, I don't know. I, I, You can straight up just measure it from your computer. Well, that's a, not what I meant. Like if you draw it on your engineering paper and you actually just measure it with a ruler because everything is respected to scale, uh, you, in the end, you should get somewhere around three. Like literally, you just measure the distance between the two and then just the O A divided by O B, right? Um, you should get a factor of safety around, um, around three due to the distance, or I think it's like 2.98 or something. Um, but yeah, like you can tell the, this is like pretty similar to the, uh, calculation that we, uh, obtained over here. Um, so yeah. And then for stress, like for maximum, uh, shear stress, then it's the same thing, but B would just be here instead, right? It depends on which, so, you know, the, the, the straight line is uh, MSS and the uh, dotted line is one basis, right? So, yeah, hopefully uh, this was helpful. Uh, good luck on your studies and I'll see you in my future videos.